The importance of ensuring compliance with the current legislative framework provided to us in building regulations should not be considered without first going back a little, just so that we can put it all into context. Our modern day city is nothing like the London of the 16th and 17th centuries. We still although have a wealth of modern and historical building stock sitting alongside one another. The buildings of old, which are still to be found dotted around London, have mainly survived due to routine and diligent care, or just out of sheer luck. Building materials which are now used are stringently performance assessed. Our greater understanding of the technology of building allows us to apply science to the building process to meet every technical challenge presented in an endeavour to successfully create a built environment which is healthy, safe and sustainable. As long as the financial resources permit, it seems the sky's the limit. I'm standing here in Southwark, looking across the river towards the city of London, or at least where the old one used to be. The Corporation of London is the local authority for the City of London, or the Square Mile as it is also known. With its roots in medieval times, it is probably the oldest local authority in the United Kingdom and has an unusually wide range of responsibilities reflecting both its ancient role as a municipality and its modern day role as the equivalent of a London borough. Events that took place over there heralded a more structured and enforceable set of building regulations as a consequence of a major incident. The Great Fire in 1666 that started at its centre. Although the earliest building regulations existed well before the Great Fire, they were never truly enforced. In the 12th century, London was the first English town to have a mayor. His name was Henry Fitzalwin de Londonston, who first appears around 1189. Although the exact circumstances of his becoming mayor are not known, what is known is that his name is attributed to the London Aziz, to us, the Building Act, the first building regulations. <laughs>